In 1846, Neptune, the eighth planet of our solar system, was discovered by the French astronomer Urbain Le Verrier, whose statue is right behind me at the entrance of the Paris Observatory. Remarkably, Le Verrier made this discovery merely through calculations. Le Verrier is one of the 72 names on the sides of the Eiffel Tower. To find out how Le Verrier made this discovery, as well as his other scientific contributions, I am now joined by Mathieu Husson, who is a CNRS researcher at the Paris Observatory. Thank you, Mathieu, for your time. Who was Urbain Le Verrier? Welcome to Paris Observatory. Urbain Le Verrier was one of the directors of Paris Observatory in the 19th century. He was an astronomer and specialist in celestial mechanics. He made also a um, brief political career and was an important director in reforming Paris Observatory. Urbain Le Verrier was born in 1811 and lived for about 66 years and died in 1877. How did he discover Neptune merely by calculations? So Urbain Le Verrier was a specialist of celestial mechanics and he was able to find out that the motion of Uranus, a planet discovered about 60 years before by Herschel, could not be explained by Newtonian law. So you had to make an hypothesis about an object that was not yet seen to explain the strange motion of Uranus. And he made the computation in order to find out where was this object, what kind of object it was, and it turned out to be the planet Neptune. Can you tell us about his other scientific contributions? So Urbain Le Verrier made similar approach to the strange motion of Mercury. It could, not, it could never be explained by the discovery of an other planet that was thought first of all being the planet Vulcan. But uh, Einstein uh, in the early 20th century was able to uh, finally explain this motion by the general theory of relativity. Urbain Le Verrier did also um, an important work in, in general in reforming the way um, um, planetary ephemeris were computed in Paris Observatory and his technique of computation on which he worked for all his life uh, were used until also the beginning of the 20th century. And finally, Urbain Le Verrier was also one of the persons who contributed to the creation of the French Meteorology um, um, Administration with uh, publishing some of the first um, uh, meteorological uh, forecasts uh, in Europe uh, and creating this service for France. And finally, can you provide a glimpse into his political career? So, Le Verrier was a member of the Parti de l'Ordre. He was um, a fan of uh, the Second Empire and he was briefly in charge of some um, reform, uh, especially of the Ecole Polytechnique for which he is known. But mainly also his, um, his um, political uh, um, uh, achievements were in the reform of Paris Observatory which he made according to methods that were not always appreciated by the local staff, but turned Paris Observatory into a more modern institution using uh, modern communication systems and modern organization to conduct observations.